Mother's Day weekend has arrived, and for much of the nation, there'll be plenty of sunshine and some warm weather. There are a few cold spots, though, and a few soggy spots, so we'll get into those details. Rain will be moving across the northeast today, northward into New England as we head into your Sunday. It's been hot across the central plains, uh, down through the southern plains, even up into the upper Midwest. Temperatures are climbing well above normal for this time of the year. We'll show you how that heat is headed eastward, but it's cold in the northwest, cold enough for some of that precipitation to come in the form of snow. So here's a look at the bigger picture. We had rain and showers move across portions of the southeast and throughout the Ohio Valley yesterday. That system is now moving eastward, some lingering shower activity and possibly some storms across portions of uh, the panhandle of Florida through southern Georgia, Alabama throughout the afternoon today. Showers are also moving across the northeast with some cooler weather. By tomorrow, we'll see drier conditions return to the southern half of the region, but that wet weather will move northward uh, across Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, continuing to stay soggy. Now, you really won't notice much of anything at all across the central U.S. It's continuing to stay warm and sunny, and that high pressure will continue to expand then across the Ohio Valley, bringing that warmth eastward as the weekend goes on. Totally different scenario, though, in the northwest. It's cold. Multiple storm systems will be bringing showers as well as some snow across portions of the Cascades through the end of the weekend and into early next week. Severe threat for today across portions of northern Florida, southern Georgia, marginal threat there as well as the western edge of South Dakota. Sunday, the good news is, is that there may be some thunderstorm activity, but so far no severe threat. High temperatures across the nation today look like this. 70s and 80s across the central U.S. Only 54 though in New York.